Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 16th, 2023. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we just spent another day chopping. We started off with a horrible and absolutely awful Empire State Manufacturing number, and as I kind of suggested, we ignored it and rallied back up, finishing the day with just, well, about where we started with just modest gains um, in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Hey, before we get started, I want to let everyone know that I am doing a public e-learning uh, this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you guys are interested, everyone is welcome. It will be um, just come to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website, go to the free room, there's no login required, and I'll be there at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we're going to have a good time tonight. So, um, look forward to seeing you if you have the chance uh, this evening for that free public e-learning. Let's take a look at um, some of these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, unfortunately, um, if we look at the diamonds here, um, another test of the 50-day moving average, almost tested it, and uh, then bounced off. So it seems to be the method of the day. We get bears in the morning and the bulls in the afternoon that um, push us right back up into the exact same range that we've been trading in. So if those bulls can find inspiration today in some of the data, well, then we'll look for a test maybe up in here. And if they can push on through, maybe up into that area of the chart on the diamonds. If the bears find inspiration, then we would look maybe for a retest down here toward that 50 day moving average. And if that were to fail, well, we're gonna look down here uh, for that next level lower. So a lot of uncertainty here in the market going into today. We've already had Home Depot report and Home Depot kind of disappointing. Um, but uh, interestingly enough, it's immediately starting to bounce back up. So um, kind of what we're seeing lately, we get a bad earnings report and it's immediately bought. So we'll see how long that can continue. But if we um, jump back over here and let's take a look at our SPY, SPY still holding in that same range here in the chart. Nothing changed yesterday. Um, just chopping back and forth in a range. So if the bulls find inspiration, well, let's look right up here and say, uh, maybe a retest up in here to see if we can push on through. If we can push through there, then maybe we're pushing up into this area of the chart. And if that breaks, well, then once again, an attack of this big resistance level, that big wall that we've been struggling against here for such a long time. If the bears find inspiration, well, maybe a retest back down here where we've been testing kind of the last several days to see whether that's going to continue to hold. And if that were to fail, then I would suggest we're maybe coming down into this range here in the chart. And there's a lot of data today, so I think anything, anything is possible. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ remains the strongest of the index. Uh, indexes and uh, it's where everyone seems to be piling in uh, no one seems to mind that PE ratios on most of these big techs are way out of control but it doesn't matter um, folks are just willing to continue to buy those big techs as they stretch and stretch and stretch so watch that carefully um, I uh, QQQ the strongest of the bunch and if those bulls can continue to push well, then I would suggest we're going to push up into this region of the chart up here around 
oh that 320 uh 330 area of the uh th excuse me 329 330 area of the chart and then maybe even a little bit higher up here around the 332 if they can continue to find a reason for bullishness and um, on the bearish side well um, a pullback once again where we've been testing 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 maybe a retest of this support level in the chart and if that were to fail well i would suggest we move on down here we test this next level of price support here in the chart and maybe even that upside trend so keep a close eye on that if we take a look at our russell oh iwm iw whoops iwm had the strongest day yesterday which was interesting um pushing up and we still have this doggone downtrend we're trying to deal with we still have this massive resistance over the top we're trying to deal with so if those bulls can continue to find inspiration today well then maybe we look for that retest right up into here see if we can break through it this time um watch that level and if we break through that well maybe we test this level right up here if those bears find inspiration today well i would suggest we're probably going to push back down here the bottom side of that chop range and if that doesn't hold well right back down here in that support area of the chart so watch those carefully if we look at our vix well our vix just kind of like the rest of the day nothing happened here it was just another day of chop we initially were surging up in the vix a little bit of fear coming into the market and then that just died on the vine with that rally um, in the end of the day and we continue to be stuck between this 18 and 16 handle level in the chart if the if the bulls find inspiration today then perhaps we can finally break this down to the downside if the bulls find inspiration well maybe we break this to the upside and get above that 18 handle and resistance in the chart we'll see if we take a look at our t2122 well our t2122 rallied yesterday and left us just a little bit above the midline so here's our midline in the chart and you can see um, yesterday we started the day down here about 20 points below the midline and we are now good 10 points above the midline here in the chart so what does that mean well if we can find inspiration on the bullish side today we certainly have upside opportunity um, we're just kind of winding and coiling up i think for some kind of a big move and I just couldn't tell you which way it's going to pop and then um, if we find bearish reason to engage here today well we've got nice opportunity to move down as well you want to keep in mind that we've been struggling with this upside trend here in the chart I don't know that that's going to follow through and continue to matter but watch that close if we take a look at our T2108. Well, our T2108 had a modest improvement yesterday. Um, I don't know that anything changed here, though. We continue to be stuck in this um, wedging pattern here in the chart, stuck beneath resistance, stuck be above support, and we're really not going very far very fast or going too many places. Again, I think we're coiling up for some kind of a move. But I, I, your guess is as good as mine as to which way that's going to go. So watch that closely. About 43, 44% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. Our T2107, whoops, T2107, we have very much the same thing. We rallied just a little bit, um, not quite 40% of the stocks holding above its 200-day we're still dealing and still developing and building this really big head and shoulders pattern here in the chart. We continue to remain stuck underneath um, resistance, stuck above support in that chart, um, just wandering around waiting for something. And we continue along that downtrend here in um, T2107. But um, the bears don't seem to have any teeth, and the bulls, well, they seem to have lost their horns. So not much happening here uh, in T2107 just yet. Could be coiling, like I said, for a big move, but I couldn't tell you which way that's going to go. If we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101 
on Friday had hooked to the upside. And what did we do yesterday? We hooked it back to the downside here in T2101, which essentially means we still have no momentum in the market or really a directional support here um, in the market. We're just stuck in this very tight trading range and um, coiling for some kind of a move if we can find some inspiration. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Whoops, and our economic calendar does have some things on it that we're gonna wanna be paying attention to. First thing here this morning, we've got retail sales coming out. You'll notice we've, um, we're gonna be getting Fed speak here all day long. We've got one at 8.15, 8.55, we've got 12.15, 3.15, and then it's seven uh, tonight. So uh, keep an eye on that. We've got our retail sales number coming out here before the bell. That's obviously a market moving number that could really establish the sentiment for the day. So watch that closely. Um, and then we're going to have industrial production at 9.15 Eastern. Um, and shortly after that, business inventories in the housing market index. We do have a short term bond auction, uh, but probably not going to make any difference to the market so watch that closely pretty busy morning here on that um, economic front on the earnings calendar well i already mentioned that home depot report where we kind of um well disappointed here and right now it's just rallying right back up here um they missed on their revenues um, here in the market so not looking so good there just yet but um, if we take a look at the rest of the notables here for today, we have um, AGYS that will be reporting today. We're going to uh, get a report from Baidu. Uh, Baidu, um, uh, that's uh, popping up here this morning. Um, HUYA will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Keys. They'll be reporting. We're going to hear from uh, KD. We're going to hear from SE. We're going to hear from SSYS. We're going to get a report from TME and also TUP. So kind of keep an eye on um, those reports. Um, if we were to uh, take a second here and take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. It's that activity with the video that makes a lot of difference um, for YouTube to show uh, these videos to other, other folks out there. So thank you to everyone that helps us attract uh, more um, more folks to the channel you guys are truly awesome and i hope you understand that the purpose of this video is not to provide a whole bunch of hype it's not to provide a whole bunch of prediction in the market it's truly to look at the charts and see if the bulls find inspiration if the bears find inspiration where we could move today so we can plan our day carefully without the influence of all of that prediction that we see in other places of the market. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. There are a lot of good sub, uh, signals out there. There are a lot of ugly signals out there in the market to pay attention to. So make sure that you're following your trading rules and your risk tolerances and you should never ever just follow someone else's trade ideas let's take a look here um, at a few of these charts first off i want to mention a stock that i kind of have a bias on um, ccj is something i am holding uranium has been moving up nicely here recently and you can see we're moving up in this little trend here in ccj broke through that resistance in the chart and moved on through. Now we certainly have a resistance up here to be concerned about. 
but this pullback in the chart could find that next opportunity to move on higher here keep an eye on ccj and if you prefer uh, to go with something other than ccj take a look at ura ura trying to make a move here a little pop and drop in the pre-market but breaking through resistance in this downtrend uh, or excuse me, broke the downtrend, broke through resistance, trying to move on up and trying to establish that upside trend. So I would keep a close eye on URA. You could also look at UUUU. UUUU, very beautiful chart here, moving up sharply, moving in an upside trend after breaking that downtrend and through resistance. Something's going on in uranium and um, lots of bullishness there in that chart. Um, you might want to take a look at um, some of the solar stocks out there. First Solar just had a huge move last week on its earnings, popping big time. And notice that we're popping right back into this channel here in the chart. So any consolidation or any resting pullback in here would set up that next opportunity to the upside. Keep an eye on First Solar if that can rest and kind of hold into that chart um, let's take a look at gold here now gold um, interesting yesterday that uh, the dollar remained pretty strong and gold continues to hold up here i think we have to keep an eye on this as long as the regional banks uh, continue to be a concern here gold seems to be hanging in there pretty strong now remember our trend we still have quite a little bit of resting and consolidation that needs to occur in here to come out to trend but i think this is a constructive pattern that we're seeing here in the chart and unless we see the dollar really spike higher in price or we see something change in those regional banks gold may be something to continue to pay attention to and if you um would prefer um, you instead of paper gold you can actually buy uh, physical gold by purchasing PHYS you might want to go to their website and check them out but you can't you're actually buying a piece of physical gold it's not just paper gold and if you buy enough and it requires quite a bit but if you buy enough they'll even ship you the gold so watch um, watch that carefully here on uh, PHYS let's take a look at um, um, our oil sector um, XLE um, boy we're struggling in here quite a little bit on um, oil we saw oil prices rally just a little bit um, yesterday but I gotta tell you there's not much about this chart that um, I could really say um, gives me too many warm and fuzzies here as a matter of fact I would be watching this little rally back for the possibility that we could move on lower and we know with the economy weakening we're seeing that demand destruction here in the market on that oil sector side so i would watch that carefully now if it can improve if we can hold this price support in here and if we can break this downtrend to the upside and then hold a higher low well then i'll change my mind and i'll be thinking bull trend uh, beginning uh, back to the upside but until then I've got to be a bit on the bearish side let's take a look at a few of these um, stocks that continue to stay in very nice and bullish patterns and this is in the defensive sector the the commer uh, consumer staples com uh, uh, market seems to be very very strong and continues to stay that way Mondelez is a good dividend payer holding in here a nice consolidation pattern could easily find that next opportunity to the upside I'd keep a close eye on that um, I saw PepsiCo finally got a little bit of pullback yesterday which it definitely needed this thing was so stretched out continues to be very stretched out but I would watch this closely as we kind of pull back on this trend um, there may still be some opportunity to the upside if those uh, uh, defensive sector stocks and staples continue to be uh, bought up the way they have been here recently. Very, very strong. Um, you can look at a lot of different um, a lot of different places of the market and see some strength now yesterday brought in a little hint of uncertainty as you can see here in schmuckers breaking down that support here a little bit um, coming back into trend 
um, this one could be shifting a little bit. So I would watch that carefully. We may be reaching kind of a snapping point in some of these defensive sectors as well. Then let's take a look at some of the healthcare um, areas of the market. Merck continues to hold up nicely here in this chart. Now we had a little selling yesterday, continuing to hold in there on that support area of the chart. I'd watch that carefully. If that can continue to hold, I would look for an upside opportunity in that chart. Take a look at UNH. If you're looking for a short trade, you may want to be thinking UNH. UNH is really struggling in here. We shot up and pulled back. We could not hold that. We continue to test this resistance up in here and we just can't get through. And as you can see, a little bit of bearishness came into there yesterday. We may be giving up this little upside trend here soon. Watch that closely if we fail here on UNH to the downside. Um, take a look at um, silver. Silver, on uh, while gold has been holding up, silver has been getting uh, kind of beat up here, breaking down through support in the chart, finding a little bit of pressure here. Um, so I would watch that closely. I think any rally back here in silver could literally set up the next short position in the chart. So keep an eye on that. So there's a few stocks for you to be paying attention to. There's lots of um, lots of good looking stocks out there in the tech sector like Oracle holding in there, AMD, um, I think could be setting up here. I'd keep an eye on that. But I'd also be a little bit careful here if the market decides that um, it can't go higher and starts to sell off, then I would look for some pretty substantial pullbacks in some of these big techs. So just be careful. Everyone have an awesome, awesome day. I will see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. And if you're available, love to have you for the uh, public e-learning tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern again. Just come to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. You'll log into the free room. I'll be there at 8 p.m. Eastern and we'll have a great time. Y'all take care. Have a great day and I want to wish you all the best.